Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 18. As you probably know, iOS 18 is coming on its first dev beta really, really soon. And now it has of course been confirmed. It will be June 10th, the beginning of WWDC 2024. As usually, Apple will show us iOS 18 that day and after the conference, we will get the first beta so june 10th the release of the first dev beta of ios 18. now this is expected to be a big update and we got a lot of reports and a lot of rumors claiming the same thing it should be a really big update but which are some of the coolest new features that are coming to your device with ios 18. let's go ahead and take a look at 10 of those now we're starting things off with safari safari on ios 18 is getting a browsing assistant another ai feature coming to ios 18 as you probably know siri will be using ai with ios 18 ai will also be coming to safari so there are currently browsers that do have this feature of course safari doesn't and now finally with ios 18 there will be an update bringing an assistant to safari which will help you with your browsing even though we don't know specifics on how that will actually work or what it will be able to do, we do know that an AI assistant is coming to Safari with iOS 18. Now with iOS 18, a lot of stock apps of iOS are getting a lot of changes and a lot of new features. And a lot of those will be revamped completely as well. Now, one of those that is getting a cool new feature is the Notes app. The Notes app is expected to gain support for displaying mathematical notions also allowing users to include things like equations and formulas within a note. That will be, of course, a great new feature. So all these features that we are talking about, we know that the Apple is actually kind of late because for the Notes app, we know that there are no taking apps that already allow you to do this. But of course, having it on the Stock Notes app of iOS is way better because most people actually prefer using the Stock apps of iOS because of the privacy and everything else. So this cool new feature is coming to the Notes app with iOS 18. And this thing right here, the calculator on iOS 18 is finally getting a revamp. It will be totally new, most likely have a ton of new features as well. As you probably know, you have, of course, all of us have used the calculator now for a long time. It's exactly the same and it has some really basic features, but hopefully well, there will be a lot more features with iOS 18 on the calculator app. We do know that it's getting a revamp, which is really, really awesome. Now, when talking about the calculator app, here's another really cool thing you need to know. The calculator app is finally coming to the iPad. So if you have an iPad, you will also get the new calculator app on iPadOS 18. This has been like, of course, years since Apple has released the iPad. They never had a calculator app, even though you could still calculate using Siri. Finally, you do not have to actually install calculators for your iPad from the App Store. You will be getting the calculator app with iPadOS 18. The Photos app is also getting a revamp on iOS 18. Now, the Photos app has been basically the same also for a lot of years now, but Apple has actually added quite a lot of new features on the Photos app. Especially with iOS 18, we had a ton of new features, but this is also one of the stock apps of iOS that is getting a total revamp with iOS 18. Now, we don't have any like details on what will happen and what features we're getting. We just know that there will be a total revamp of the, of the Photos app as well alongside with some other iOS apps like the Fitness app and of course Notes on the calculator. But I hope that there will be especially changes on the editing section of the Photos app. So when you go to edit here, we just have some basic controls, especially when it comes to editing videos on your iPhone. Hopefully with the new Photos app of iOS 18, we will get a lot more features on that section. And RSS is finally coming to iOS with iOS 18. That means that now you can message with your friends that don't have iMessage via Wi-Fi as well. Just like basically something very, very similar to iMessage. So 
For your friends that have Androids, you can send messages via Wi-Fi. You don't have to send an SMS. You also get reading recipes with this new feature. Also, typing indicator, audio messages, and way better quality for photos and videos that you send to your friends that don't have iMessage. This is a feature that was actually rumored to come to iOS and the iMessage app with iOS 17, but they didn't make it finally it's coming with the new iOS 18. And we're also getting custom routes on the Maps app. So whenever you're trying to go somewhere, you will see, of course, one or two or maybe even three different routes where you can go. Well, now you can have your own custom route. So you can set your own custom one and not just have to actually choose between one of the, the routes that Apple or the Maps app will actually suggest to you. You can now create your own custom route and of course start navigating on your own custom route which is really really awesome and probably will be useful on a lot of cases for a lot of iOS 18 users. Now one thing that has been rumored to change for the last couple of years on iOS is the control center. The control center has been looking the same for quite a few years now and it's actually not that useful as it should be and you cannot actually customize it a lot you cannot move the modules anywhere you want not add like different toggles or remove something you want but hopefully with ios 18 we're getting a new control center just take a look at this control center this is of course a concept by Andrew Lilibero here, it looks really, really amazing. This is how it actually should look like. You can see here we have the Wi-Fi, the mobile data, all that. We have the brightness where you can turn on or off the auto brightness directly from here. We have the toggles, of course, the media controls. You can see right there the focus modes. We have a turn off button for the device right there. You will have your account there and your settings right on the control center. That would be something amazing if Apple actually decides to add this to iOS because the control center, even though it should be one of the most useful section of iOS with the current state is actually not that useful at all. Another new feature coming to your device with iOS 18 is on the home screen. Now, according to reports, the home screen on iOS 18 will be way more customizable than the current home screen on iOS 17. Even though we don't know exactly what we're getting, we do know one feature, which is basically the ability to place the apps anywhere you want on the home screen. Like you can see, if I try to place an app right here, it will rearrange it right on the spot right there, but with iOS 18, you will be able to have blank spaces on the home screen. So basically, just place the icons anywhere you want and also the widgets anywhere you want on your device. And last but not least, we're ta we talked about Siri getting AI features, of course, Safari as well. Apple is actually in the talks with OpenAI to power the new iOS 18 features. So Apple might use OpenAI's ChatGTP to actually power iOS 18, even though this is not 100% sure yet. They're talking and it might just happen. And now let's talk about the release dates and the supported devices. So the latest rumors and reports that we got are suggesting that the oldest devices that are currently supported by iOS 17 will be dropped. That being the iPhone 10s, the iPhone 10s Max and the iPhone 11. Even though we will have to wait and see for that, it might happen because those devices are actually quite old. Now let's go ahead and talk about the release dates here. As we know, the first dev beta will release right here on June 10th after the event at the start of WWDC 2024. We will also get another beta, which will be the public one. That should happen somewhere around here. The middle of July right here, the 16th or the 15th of July should be the date when Apple releases the first public beta. But of course, what's really interesting is the public release of iOS 18 and taking a look at the past years, always taking a look at the patterns that Apple uses when releasing new softwares. It should be somewhere around here. I would expect it to be either September 16th or 23rd. These are the two dates where I expect Apple to actually release the 
first public release of iOS 18. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button. Of course, subscribe for more. And I'll see you on the next one.